She's a mom of seven, an attorney, but her real passion is in the kitchen. Alabama chef Stacy Lynn Harris is in the Good Day Kitchen with two recipes straight from the garden to the stove, perfect for the three day weekend. Take us through it. I mean, okay. look at all these amazing ingredients. Well, squash is about to be ready in everybody's garden. Okay. And so this is the, a fresh recipe that I hope the people will absolutely love. Right now, I'm sauteing some um, onions and garlic, which is super easy. And you do the same thing for the chowder over here. Okay. So, and you put bacon in the chowder. Ooh, and that's like, you have I mean, crazy great. Okay. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna move over here and show you how to easily get these both Oats ready. Oh, um, I've been yeah. looking at recipes like this, and I always need to know how to actually get it to look nice. <laughs> well, it's pretty simple. I'm just cutting this squash right through the middle, and I'm going to just take out the seeds. Okay. And the easy way to do this, and here's a really big tip, is to go around the edge mm -hmm. or the perimeter. And and your your goal is to make the entire squash the same thickness so that it cooks at the same speed. Mm -hmm. So that's the goal. So I just went around the perimeter, and then I'm going to score right. the inside and then I'm just going to take it scoop it out and scoop it out okay and that's really all there is to it so I have some that are already mm -hmm. on the plate and um, and then Easy. I'm going to show you how to make the filling so all you do for that and you do the same thing with the zucchini okay. so you'll do absolutely the same thing so I'm just you know stirring this up getting that sauteed and now I'm going to show you what to do here you're just going to put in some little breadcrumbs. breadcrumbs it can be your own that you okay. make or it can be from the store I'm going to put in about three quarter cup of breadcrumbs so you have your onions your garlic your breadcrumbs yes okay okay I'm going to put in the tomatoes and the breadcrumbs just help to soak up that great liquid that's mm -hmm. in here and we're going to put eggs in in a minute that's going to bind it together and you know really make it sure. kind of meaty even though this is a vegetarian kind of dish although I do have some sausage that I'm going to put in a few okay so you can make sausage and make it your own this is parmesan cheese but if you want to put a different kind of cheese you can put a different kind and I'm gonna put that in here and then I'm gonna stir this up and I'm gonna add an egg to bring it all together are we uh, what temperature are we at right now on the stove is it medium um, it's medium or, okay yes and um, and and I really just sweated the onions I didn't saute them mm -hmm. so I did that on low as well so I'm just gonna while you're doing Get this, talk down. about the importance of, you know, using what you have in your garden. So many people are afraid to start their own garden, but is it, is it really that hard? It isn't. Okay. It really isn't. And you can start small. It's not like, you know, you can add to it every year. I mean, just think five years, you would just about have a, a full garden. If right. you did herbs the first year and then you did like tomatoes one year and, um, you know, you did... Uh, squash and eggplant and you know the next year you're you're getting you know you're, you're doing pretty good getting on up there and it's so much more healthy um, because you know what is in your food so I love that and you know but if you don't have room local markets are great right. and even local um, regular stores like supermarkets are beginning to have you know stuff local they're buying from local farmers now which is really exciting okay so I just stirred up this egg into this mixture mm -hmm. and now I'm just going to scoop it scoop right it in. into the squash boats and then you're going to be preheating your oven to about 350 degrees and put them in there for about 20 minutes and you will have it you will have that made now for the um, the corn chowder and all of these are in my book so um, and, uh, Stacey I'm gonna cut you off there okay. because we're running out of time and okay. we're gonna direct our viewers to yeah. all the recipes yeah, great. in the book uh, you can go to our Fox 5 app but I want to thank you so much yeah, for I had a great us. time it all was totally so healthy fun. and doable yes too. all right thank you Let's go ahead and check back in with meteorologist Joanne Feldman in the Fox 5 Storm Center now with a look at your holiday forecast.